October 15th, 2019. Um, I think you guys are in that Aries energy. I think that I'm in my own little world right now. So let's see what these energies are. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Queen of Cups. Yeah, so maybe you guys are in your own little world right now, too. Okay? Nothing wrong with that. Look at it. You're like, you're freaking hot. You're hot and you're in your own little world. Own it. Own it. But the Queen of Cups, you know, she's brilliant. There's a dolphin behind it. What is with these dolphins? To, to me, this, this dolphin, okay, is, is sexual. All right, got a little flipper over here that's wanting to make his move. <laughs> Four of Cups came out. But to me, listen to me, like the Queen of Cups, amazing, right? She loves from her heart, her soul. I don't, with the Four of Cups, it's like... It's like she wants to move forward. She's got a cup. Is she going to offer the cup? She can if she chooses to. Or is she going to accept the cup? It's one or the other. Because the four of cups is an offering. It's, it's a universal offer. Which means the universe brought it forward. Which also means somebody offered their heart before, took it back. It's something like that. See, this is a, a shift of energy because these cards haven't been coming out on the board. These two just popped out. She can create, or this is somebody, a creator that wants to create with her, vice versa. Something can go in her direction or their direction. You keep ending up with all the palaces in the bottom of the deck. It, it's... <sighs> One more. Something can go in a different direction this time. The wheels here. That means something didn't work out before. And this is an energy. This is an energy. Is it combines into the same person? Possibly. Or this is the, the one that's kind of like... At a distance. the frig I don't I don't know why I'm reading it's like I don't know why they call me to read when I can't read today what interpret your own read today <laughs> interpret your own read wait a minute look at me She's given birth. Like, literally. Even if you're not having a baby, you're giving birth to birth something brand new. It's hands down. To me, it's will this person go on the adventure with you? She's got to be willing to create, but she's 
frustrated. I feel it. She's like, no freaking way. She's pissed. She's pissed. Okay. She's capable of manifesting something brand new. It looks like he's going to offer her. It looks like he's going to bring the offer to her. Will she take the cup? Who knows? The Empress and the Wheel it is this universe, it's the universe. Saying like here. Queen of Cups is manifesting something. I I'm guessing it's work if if it's leading off you manifesting a family, a baby, a child, a uh, work, it is the Empress. She's pissed, 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 pissed. I don't know what that's about. She's pissed. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. What's her energy? Because she can. She, If she wanted to manifest something and give birth to it, boom, bada, bada. See, that's not it. It's two different things. It's definitely two different things. <clears throat> Queen of Wands, Eight of Wands. Yeah, she can go on this journey if she chose to. You know, she's she's intuitive, she's psychic, she's she's right now, you guys, how the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Empress, like the world is yours type energy. Like like I said, will will she go on this journey? Like will she she can she it's her choice. That's it's that simple, it's her choice. I mean, she knows how to be a bitch when she wants to be a bitch, too. Because the Queen of Wands is can be known for being <laughs> that way. Wait a minute. Look at me. Is that the... Like, that's the Four of Cups. Like, wait a minute, look at me. You won't believe how something we can be. Do, do, do. You might get a, isn't it something, Mr. Postman? You might get a letter, a text, an offering. And it looks like it's coming from a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. Yeah, eight of pence, they're, they're manifesting something. They're putting something together. They're working on how to figure out how to offer her the cup. So if you ask me, she's out. And it's like, wait a minute, look at me. This one's up to something. Not in a bad way. They're just trying to manifest something with the Queen of Cups. Looks like a new start because the page would be a new start. Yeah, I see the tower. But at the bottom of the deck is the six of wands, so being victorious at whatever it is they're going after. She wouldn't see that coming. But in this case, I think you... I don't know. I don't really think you do either. Dolphins behind her. This is a good tower. Tell me about the tower.
They're about to shake. Masculine's about to shake things up. Shake, rattle, and roll. You think? Okay. Extending the branch. Tell me about the magician. Wait a minute, look at me. That's way too many, but damn. You got the death card, the fool, the three of cups, the four of cups. I just, I don't want that many. Tell me about the wheel. No, the magician. Tell me about the magician. Sag energy, you got two Sag energies on the board. Cancer energy, Taurus energy, fire, score. All right, whatever. Whatever, you got them all. You got them all. I don't see air yet. I'm surprised, but that's all me nada. Something flips. Wait a minute. Look at me. Oh, it said I want to come out. You won't believe how precious you've been. Something about precious. Tell me about the magician. priestess so she's she's the high priestess she's she's got options with the four of cups too <clears throat> seven of cups um which what do i do first there's there's a lot on this mama's plate i don't even know if he's aware of it she's i mean damn the high priestess the magician very intuitive she got every tool in the box. She's spiritual. It is. Damn. Tell me about the high priestess. Holy shit. Yeah. Wherever she chooses to invest. Damn. 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 Something about the wheel. The world is yours. Something's on fire. Tell me about the wheel. I said the world. And it's the wheel. Sorry. Or she's not going to offer the alchemist, the magician. It's not going to give me much. Or she's not going to offer... Her cup right now because she's too busy manifesting. She's too busy. Epiphany after epiphany after epiphany. She's too busy. But it's, it's more the masculine energy. Manifesting something. Putting something onto paper. Coming up with something. So they're in the magician energy too. The two of you. The two of you on fire. And he's not talking about it because the King of Swords was reversed. So the fact that the two of you are the alchemist and the magician, it's, it's, he's got to be spiritual too. Because he's capable of doing this. And the wheel's going to turn in his direction. So it looks like it's benefiting the male. If he didn't have that epiphany moment yet, he will. Wow. Tell me about the Empress. This is like rebirth of something. A revival. <clears throat> Damn. Damn. The sun again with the empress. So this has long-term potential growth. The sun's the best deck in the card, so they say. Wow. So there you go. All right, the, the two of you on fire. Whatever is going down right now is, is, is going to go in the masculine's favor. Man, Lucy's just all over you guys today. 
but they're, they're just a spiritual. Something's definitely going to go in their favor. But it's it's got to be a massive turnaround with the tower. It can't just be rinky-dink, freaking slinky-dink shit. You know what I mean? Like, it just can't be. Because the Empress, you guys are all the same. This is all the same woman. She would never, ever settle for rinky-dink bullshit. It's gotta be it's, it's gotta be a big deal. I don't I don't see fear at all, but this is a massive turn of events coming towards the Empress. Could be a Leo Taurus, but it doesn't matter. It's gonna go in the gentleman's favor. But they have to make a massive shift, a mass. It, so basically, what this is telling me that it's it's in the masculine's hands. Actually, she's ready. She's capable. It, it looks like it's it's in the masculine's hand. Well, it's it's in her hands, right? It's in her hands whether or not she's gonna take it. But right now, it's in the masculine's hands because he's the one with the plans. And it's, it's a massive shift. It's, it's a sudden change. Extending the branch. Extending the olive branch, so they say. And I don't ever read that that way. Well, I mean, I do and I, I don't. But it's like they're extending their hands. Will you take it? So they're working on something. They're going to come back and offer a cup. But like I said, it's got to be a massive shift. If they want this to go in their direction, something has to come down. It looks like something's about to come down. So I hope that helped. I love you guys. Bye.